We're down at Somerton Beach today. We've got a offshore breeze from the, um, well, southwest, I guess. As you can see, we're on low tide. Um, today we're doing two methods. We are trying to catch some whiting using uh, the gulp soft plastics, also rigged with some Stalo tackle worm burners or leader protectors that extend the look of those worms. I'll show you those shortly. Um, and we're also gonna try and catch some squid. There's quite a bit of rocky weedy area out here and there's also some sand holes. So here's hoping we can capture both. This is the uh, worm burner 3D printed um, uh, from Salo Tackle. I think his son makes them onto a Gamakatsu long shank hook. And we're just going to put that on the uh, onto a swivel with a running 45 gram weight. Um, and then we'll hook up the, uh, the gold prawn onto that as well. The other thing I really like about these um, is they are leader guards as well. So if we do, we've got a little bit of um, salmon oil out there on the burley and these uh, these gulps are super stinky scented if we do happen to attract some puffer fish hopefully we don't lose our hook so just like any soft plastic you want to um, put these on nice and straight just feed them onto the hook you can obviously straighten it up and you don't want it coming out of the hook until it gets it actually comes out quite easily just trying to keep it threading through the middle and then just coming out at the end bit there so you can see that's uh, pretty straight. Just bring the worm guard down again over the top of the hook. You can see that actually looks like quite a long worm now. So there's a, um, uh, there's a sandy patch out there. So we'll, uh, we'll look to cast out onto that and then we'll get the squid jig out under the float. So yeah, for the, um, for the whiting, there's a sand patch just over this weed, which would be good to get into. We're on low tide, it's coming in at the moment. Just trying to get there's a bead at the end there you can see that uh, see that worm just in the water there it looks quite good i'm just going to um, get that bead out and then we'll go back out because i don't want the bead impeding our ability to cast there we go so that should go down the bottom so that does look quite good you can see mainline feed 45 gram sinker bead swivel hook with the worm burner and the gulp on it. Just walking it back with the bail arm open. We didn't get right into where we wanted to be, but it's not too far off either. We'll close the bail arm and we just want to do up that slack and that's really good. Line going straight out and we'll see. So the next rig is the squid float rig while keeping one eye on this puppy up here. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a little bit confident that this might work today. And if not, as always, we're going to learn something. So for our rig here, uh, pretty standard. We've got a fast hatch clip, bead, uh, one of Mel Spike's 10 gram weighted sinkers. This is a weighted inku float, bead, and then a, just looking at that rod. Might be getting some action on that already. Let's check this drag. Probably need to loosen that drag off a bit. And then a, uh, a, float, uh, a float stopper. Now, I don't think it's that deep out there today, so I'm really not gonna have a very deep float. Probably only about a meter and a bit. About, yeah, about a meter and a bit to start with. We don't wanna be in the sand. So that float stopper's in there now. We will get a squid jig, obviously. So I'll go to my trusty Inku, trusty Inku box. Now, this time of day, bright, sunny, perfect for the uh, Go Tiger. So we'll give that a go. But we also will, as you know, big fan of the, uh, the S Factor on the um, squid jigs. So we'll put that on first. Get it all nice and over there. Have never done this beach fishing for squid. Again, just bringing it back to the rod holder with the bail arm open. This has got mono all the way through. I do plan to change it. 
I may have to change the side of the um, because the wind's blowing that way and we've got that over there so I may need to move this over to that side depending if it gets in the way and I'm not sure if the squid are this far in close but we can only give it a go I think it's just worth bringing it in to check I think it might have just been on a little bit of weed and given that it is going that way I am going to do what I was thought and uh, change sides so I don't get um, hooked up on this main line yeah it's got a bit of weed on it so I might even have that float stopper almost too long we're on the incoming tide so I'm not really expecting any squid until probably we're back behind like this um, little inlet here and, and up further uh, it probably just isn't going to be deep enough but we'll get that over here and we'll get back out there just stealing a few meters I'll put this burly back over that side given the winds going left to right not that I think the burly is going to make a big big difference hey you haven't got anything for you yet no nothing why well, haven't been fishing that long haven't been fishing that long give a guy a break oh we're gonna do the drag <laughs> yep we got one it should be a good one it's bending the rod pretty well so that part of the plan's working squid off the beach so a good little plan I mean Brighton Jetty which is just down that way is well known for its squid action yeah that's lovely that's a good size squid if you can see that guys he's uh, not happy Jan yeah that's a, a nice squid there pretty happy with that we'll get him in the bucket and we'll uh, we'll get it back out there just only just fits in the bucket oh there you go <laughs> yeah, you haven't got that in Belgium no they huh? don't have no what's that sorry he doesn't have that in Belgium no, oh you don't have squid in Belgium not like this <laughs> no that's quite a good size one. Oh wow so you catch them you catch them quite a lot off the the Brighton jetty yeah. they're quite well known for them yeah. Um, but yeah there's plenty out here that's the float out there um, but you can see the little orange thing when yeah. you see that go under yeah. then he's got one yeah, and I put a little scent on the jig just so because they actually taste through their tentacles okay. so they've got like taste receptors in their tentacles so if they grab it and it's got no scent on it sometimes they don't grab it properly but if it's got scent it'll you might think oh. it's really a fish okay. wow. so yeah oh thank you all good Enjoy your day. <laughs> thank you we're just uh, winding in the whiting it's quite a reasonable way out um and just so you guys know i've got the new gamexis uh power handle i think they call it it's uh i i uh i was using this rod over in warrnambool and i got dumped in some waves and the whole rod the whole lot i fell over well, that's interesting. I think we have possibly had a bite or two. It's definitely come down the, uh, that had come down the hook. We'll get it back out there. We really do want to hit that sandy patch. Um, I just pulled up the squid jag and picked up some more tackle from someone else. Um, had their hook bit off there it looks like by probably a toad fish or something i'm going to turn over to the inky uh, diner white color the uh, glow tiger hasn't rewarded us any further so it's always good to change up your colors it's quite easy with the fast hatch hooks definitely that tide's coming in it's almost up to where we repositioned our rods already so put again the s factor on and get this puppy back out there. So I'm gonna, I think, change this um, soft plastic up. This plastic is, um, I guess, a little bit uh, worn out. I'll put him back in the, the box. And I'm gonna try one, one more. Whew. Very, very potent, these things. As soon as you open the packet, you can smell it. And again, we'll uh, thread this on. That's pretty good. And we'll uh, cast it out there and see how we go. Well, we just wound that one in and we're missing our tail. So, hmm, maybe there is some fish out there. That could have been a uh, puffer fish or something like that, I guess. 
I'm not getting too excited, but we might have another squid here, guys. Might be a small one. We do, we have a small one. That's the, uh, oh, it's still squirting everywhere. That's the, the body of that second one. So yeah, what I call a, a sm small to medium size. It seems fairly aggressive. Just whack him in the back bucket. We'll get that back out there. We're probably gonna have to move these uh, rods back. The uh, tide, the tide's still coming in, which is good. That wasn't that far out, guys, uh, that squiddly. Uh, so they do come in quite a bit here. What was sort of a, a whiting slash squid session is, uh, I guess the squid are winning with two to zero for the whiting. <laughs> we'll keep going, huh? Uh, so it's not big, but number three is coming in now. It was just weird, the float was sort of going that way. I pulled a jet, pulled it, fell a little bit away. Then I felt that, got to get him in on this wave. Then I felt that pull, pull, pull. Not a you know, reasonable size, not too bad. That's on the Inku Dynamite, Inku weighted float, off the beach at Summerton Park. Not the worst squid. We'll put him in the bucket with the other two. Be nice to get some of those bigger ones, but uh, you know, we've got three and we're in the, basically in the heart of the city. And realized we had one because that's what we had on our last cast pull in. So yeah, some of them beach squidding good, whiting yet to master. Um, Really appreciate a like and subscribe. If you want to try out the Inku Squid Tackle gear, uh, the discount code's in the description. Really helps out the channel as well. We're getting a feed tonight. Uh, squid three and a half. This one's can go back.